welcome back. Guess what? This video is about the ultimate simple YouTube setup guide. I'm probably going to say that about 50 million different ways today, but who cares? This guide is about simple setups and ways to go ahead and get started with your YouTube channel. If you're digressing because you're like, I don't know, I don't have it set up yet, I don't know what to do, I don't have any space, well this video is here to tell you that you do, okay? It's hopefully going to be quick, I hate videos where people go on and on and on and on, so let's jump right into it! Okay, so here is the first setup. I was kind of debating whether or not to say this is the first, second, third setup, but I'll probably only be introducing the first setup as the first setup. Every other setup might happen in another order, but none of that matters. So let's get right to it. I hate digressing, right? Because we said that a million times. So this setup is real simple, okay? My room is super spotless right now. I'm not going to act like it always is, but I will say that it does help me to get more done. So this is the first setup. Look, it's super simple. There's not a lot going on here. You know, you don't really need your computer right here. You see this is my computer right here in the background. I don't really need my computer here in the background unless you put a cool screensaver on. And my window's right over here. So this is window light hitting my face. This is window light all right here hitting my face. My ring light's over there. Um, it's not on the opposite side but it's kind of more like right here that helps act like um a filler to fill this darker side i can turn it up and you can see like it really fill this in so i'm not just dark on one side so one second okay there we go let me zoom out so you can see what's really going on look you zoom out and you get all this let me go over some things with you okay you don't have to have like a completely tidy room your floor could even be a hot mess you just have your desk right here. Just put your desk somewhere, okay? Close to a window so that you can maximize your light, you know, and really do some things. The desk is behind you because it's gonna serve as a prop to hold up your computer, this nice plant thing and a nice little picture that you haven't hung up yet. So don't worry about poking holes in the wall. So let me zoom back in. Okay, so. You zoom back in, you zoom in as far as you want. Now, if you're doing a hair tutorial, that ain't gonna work, girl, because can't nobody see your hair unless you like all up in here like this. So, you just zoom in really nice and tight, and you see the computer screen in the back. You, like I said, any screen ever you want. We got a dope plant here. It kind of, everything's blurred out too. I'm not even that far away from the desk. Like, look, I can touch the plant. I can touch it. Um, that that's just a setting on your camera if you have an iPhone or you're using a Samsung or any phone you probably need to find an app or a feature that can blur your background while you know you're in focus um, because this it you know the phones are kind of designed to get everything in focus no matter how close one thing is and how far another but look it ain't even that far from me so plant a little prop a picture and your computer your computer can really make a nice YouTube setup. Make your videos pop, girl, pop, girl, pop. Okay, okay, enough, enough, enough. Let's keep it pushing. Okay, ladies, here is another simple setup. This is super close. I love super close shots because I like everything else in the background to be blurred out. And that's not really based on you zooming super close into your face. It's just kind of like something's far enough away from you. See, like if this pillow was right here, if everything was just like right here, like my background was right up on me, you see it's all in focus, not cute, right? You don't have to be an interior designer, just make sure um, you hide your tags, ladies. Hide the tag, you know what? There we go, hide the tags. Hide the tags, hide the tags. Bam! Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? So this super simple setup is, like I'm gonna zoom out again so and explain, okay? Oh, this is okay okay i'm all zoomed out it's super cramped super tight so if you have a small room or you have a tight space that you've really like pushed everything out the way so you could set up then cool the trick about this type of tight space when you're in a really cramped space and you're, my camera's literally like right here guys it's like oh i can i can barely extend my arm it's like that it's like it's like that far from my face right now. It's like that far. So don't shoot, you don't put your camera right here. You have to put your camera up 
So I'm gonna lower my butt, right? So I can show y'all. So you're gonna put, okay, you're gonna put your camera up above your head. So my camera's like that. You're gonna put it up. You're gonna put it up above your head, right? Up, up whatever. Uh, I can't explain this. You're gonna put it. <laughs> okay, bring your head down. Okay, and bring your camera. Don't bring your head down. Bring your camera above your head, wherever it is. Okay, in a comfortable position. And you're gonna and you're gonna tilt the camera down. So imagine this is the tripod right here. This is the tripod. You're gonna just tilt the angle the camera down at yourself, so your camera's like right up here, pointing down on you. And that's how you get the things that are behind you and you can do a wider shot if you want to or like me you can come in closer but don't forget ladies to stay in your frame if you can't see yourself then just don't move too much okay so this youtube setup is set up at an angle the camera is super close it's about that far from me it's above me and it's pointing down on me i'm sorry i gotta look at my viewing screen it's pointing down at me so it's like that it's like that and I'm right here this is me and this is my camera pointing down on me this could actually work in a closet it's crazy depending on how big or small your closet is but don't shoot straight on that's that's the trick that's the trick ladies okay yeah and just put some nice pillows with different textures and colors and fabrics Okay, this is the widest YouTube setup I have, right? The widest. Um, but it's not done until I make it pop. Here's how I made this one pop. Gave it a little more life, a little more ambiance, a little more flair. in the back here a plant is still here that's all from the desk set up this next to my bed so put your desk next to your bed and the computer's right over there with a screensaver the standard moving screensaver of course I would make it my own screensaver something I like even something moving even if it's just ocean water mm, right and I have an LED light there's some USB LED lights you can get them from Walmart I'm not sure the price anymore because a long time ago I got them on sale for only $5 a box. I, I closed my window so you could really see the glow of the LED back there, but at night it's really popping. This setup, because it's wide, you don't want it to be boring, so you just add in more pieces. Well, I added in Christmas lights, some nice Christmas lights. So I have a lamp over here to kind of warm up that empty area that doesn't have a picture, a plant, or anything. Pop of color, pop of color, pop of color, pop of color. You could be the thing that has only the pops of color. But yeah, these are ways to pizzazz it up. This setup is right at the end of my bed. You can maximize this setup too. If you don't really have all this going on in your room, by your bed, you could just make up your bed real quick, throw some Christmas lights back there, turn your light on on your nightstand and get started doing your video you really could you can tape up a picture if you want to go to the store get one of those really lightweight posters and tape it up behind your bed if you want to let me show you what it looks like zoomed in if you really want to um if you'd like a closer setup if you like a tighter setup like me if you like a tighter setup like me you can go in tighter and yeah, you got that nice ambiance. Zoom, oh, look y'all, oh my gosh. Look at all that YouTube pizzazz. Look at all that life you can get in a close up. Oh my gosh. Put the picture way back there, okay? Just put the picture way back there and zoom in. Yeah, look at the difference, okay? You zoom in and you ain't got nothing in the background except a lamp, you know, it don't look great, what? When you're at the foot of your bed and you've set up this amazing wide that has a lot of activity, your video look good. You be like, hey. 
like I said, this setup here, I love it. Um, a lot of people tell you when you're doing a YouTube setup, figure out your brand. Like, do you like dark colors? Do you like a dark room? This isn't really that kind of video that's like helping you explore what kind of YouTuber you are. This is one to help you if you're still finding your way and you need some setup ideals to make your videos more aesthetically pleasing and they complement something about yourself. There's a little bit of something in every one of these setups that speaks to me, speaks to my brand and defining my brand is still happening sometimes when you're a youtuber you're still coming up with what your look is and feel and maybe your look will minus might just end up being what you're good at setting up you know i know mine involves lights i love light um i love color so pops of color i like earthy things so a little bit of plant life and i do have an ongoing pineapple theme moving on let's go to our next setup so this is the simplest setup so far i decided to do a really simple one so you could get an idea of how you can get started right now you can't see the floor you can't see anything on the sides of the furniture this is my futon. A lot of people probably don't have um, a colorful couch or futon, but you know, throw throw a blanket over it. You know, throw something that gives you that pop of color you like. A pop of color can really help add flair to your YouTube setup. This is not an in-depth video. This is the ultimate guide for simple YouTube setups. Okay, and. The way we made this one just pop, make it really stand out, we added pillows. So the key ingredients are a couch and some pillows. And if you really want to make it really, really, really snazzy, tape a picture of a poster, something lightweight, up behind you. And you can kind of see the rim of it, the bottom rim of it in the frame of your camera. Um, hopefully I can do more videos like this that will encourage you to... Do your YouTube setup. These were very detailed compared to how simple it can be. And these weren't the most complex setups. You don't need a lot of stuff. You probably already have it at home. And it's just kind of like finding what you have at home to make something happen to get started. Maybe you're really simple. Maybe you didn't get one of the setups and it was too hard. Well, here, just put your pillows on your couch and put your camera in front of you and let's go, girl um let's go guys let's go you know don't don't wait people want to see your content and you know you'll get better yeah you know and most of the time your setup can really go to the next level by just putting on some accessory and adding a lip and wearing a green shirt i'm actually wearing my pajamas so <laughs> Mm, no excuses. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, please, 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 please like, subscribe, click the notifications. I don't even know if I'm pointing in the right place as usual. But don't forget also to share this video. Um, you can share it by texting your friends the link. You can share it by emailing the link to somebody. You can text it. You can, yeah, I said that already. Okay, well, enough of me. I hope you enjoy this video.